great jump start. Uh, we had an excellent first week, uh, really primed some of the core moves, uh, really learned some of the, the form that's associated with the key patterns, uh, built in a little bit of function, and now we're gonna build on that this week. So last week we did 45 second intervals. That was meant to be fast paced, but also give you enough time to learn how to do movements well. This week we're gonna take those intervals and stretch them out to be double the length of time. 90 second intervals with a 30 second rest, and this is all meant to control the movements we're giving you. We want you to own and be amazing at all the exercises you're gonna do this week. This is really gonna build in not only muscular endurance, but that athleticism that we're talking about, uh, and really push your muscles limits as far as how much they can handle in one workout. It's gonna be awesome. We're gonna to start today's workout, which is also gonna be a core primer, much like last Monday, uh, with dead bugs. So we did these this week. We're gonna start with these today in our warm up. Okay, we're gonna be down on the floor in our dead bug position. Okay, we wanna have that back nice and flat as we did this past week. So the back is tucked, we're not arched. We're gonna glue that low back, that spine, to the mat below you. We're gonna go arms up in the air, and then now we're gonna go alternating arms and legs to the floor. Down, keeping that back flat. Come up and stay controlled. We're gonna alternate side to side. Tap and up, tap and up. Okay, it's our first warm-up exercise. Our second warm-up exercise, we're gonna flip around and do plank, side plank reach-throughs. Okay, so on our side plank position, we can do this from two, uh, in two ways. We can go side plank from the elbow and knees. So we're here, so the knees are stacked, hips come forward, so we're in a nice tall spine. Imagine you're standing with perfect posture. So you wouldn't stand leaning off to one side. You're gonna be nice and straight, tuck that chin back. From here, you're gonna reach under your body, so roll on your shoulder, reach, and then open all the way up. And we're gonna do this for the prescribed reps. Now we can also make this a little bit harder by coming up into a side plank from the feet. Now again, stack spine like you're standing with great posture, and we always go staggered stance with our side planks. So top leg comes over, bottom leg in behind, and again, reach through, rotate through the shoulders, open all the way up as high as we can go, and we'll do that on each side for the prescribed reps. So again, left side here, from the knees, up, push the hips forward, perfectly stacked spine, reach and open, or from the legs, reach and open. Prescribed reps as is in our workout description. The final exercise for your warm up is gonna be bear liftoffs. Okay, so we did bear crawls and bear holds last week. We're taking this to another level, again, screwing the hands into the floor. We're gonna get that shoulder, or that elbow crease in line with the thumb, tuck the toes underneath, and we're just gonna come off the mat an inch or two. Holding this position nice and strong through the spine, breathing through our belly, we're gonna lift one hand, place it down and reset. Opposite hand, down and reset. Back leg, up and reset. Opposite leg, and then we're gonna go back through for the prescribed repetitions. That's gonna be our warm up for core Monday of week two, January Jumpstart. All right, so the workout for Monday, as I said earlier in the introduction, we're doing long, slow intervals. You get a little bit more rest, uh, and we're doing more challenging full body movements. So we're taking that foundation we built in week one, we're expanding on it in week two, giving you even more control and movement variability, which is a key to not only injury prevention, but long-term fitness. And those are gonna be our few of our key goals here. So Monday's workout, we're starting back in that dead bug position, but we're gonna use our dumbbell and we're gonna do some overhead pullovers. So this is gonna get a whole lot more difficult and we're going 90 seconds on before we get a 30 second break. So again, dead bug position is so critical to spinal stability. Getting that spine glued to the mat, legs up, dumbbell comes overhead, and now I want you to slow and control for 90 seconds. You're gonna lower that weight over your head, nice and slow, keeping that back glued to the mat, Tap and pull up, nice and slow to the top, reset, and we're gonna go again. 
90 seconds here, slow and controlled. You're gonna drive that core stability. Now we're getting arms moving. We're exercising the lats. So many good things in this position, okay? From here, much like the warm up, we're gonna go into a side plank position, but we're gonna work on hip stability here. We're gonna split this one between the mid 90 second interval, 45 seconds on each side. If you use the timer that we've uh, set up for you, it's already got it built in, so don't worry about it. Here, we're gonna be in that side plank position that we did before. Instead of getting up into a plank and holding it, we're going to roll onto that front hip. So we're gonna start from this position here, roll forward, push through the knee, open up like you're gonna roll over into a crawling position, but we're not gonna go that far. You're gonna come down and lower in control. So we're rolling onto the hip, start here, roll, push through the knee, drive up, 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 squeeze that glute, nice and stacked through the ribs. Now we're lowering in control, don't let your ribs go. Down, 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 tap, and we're going again. 45 seconds, left arm, swing around, right away, no rest, right into right side. Bridge, down, back, roll, push through the knee, hips come forward, down, back, and go. Okay, so I want you to think about initiating a side plank with lots of control for 45 seconds per side. That's exercises two and three. We're going on to exercise four, uh, which is gonna be a overhead chop with a dumbbell. So, you're gonna wanna grab a dumbbell and we're gonna hold that dumbbell like a handle out in front of us. We did pow off chest presses last week. We're gonna take that same position to a whole new level where we're gonna go up overhead in control and then down in control. Both very difficult from a core stability standpoint. So let's set this up. Feet wider than shoulder width apart, athletic stance. So that means soften in the knees, soften in the hips. Here we're gonna get those ribs down, abs crunched, dumbbells straight out in front of you. And we're gonna raise up overhead, keeping that core stacked. Like you're gonna throw an ax down into a piece of wood, you're chopping wood. And then we're gonna slowly control the ax back down in front, reset, and we're gonna repeat. Dumbbell comes up overhead, and we come back down. We're going 90 seconds here, so it's slow and controlled. We're keeping that stable base of support, ribs down, abs crunch. If you have to take a little breather, that's fine. Set the waist down, take a break, but get right back into it and try and see if you can keep moving for 90 seconds with that dumbbell. Okay, we're gonna finish off with 45 seconds on each side, so 90 seconds total of reverse lunge with a step through. Okay, so here we're gonna start left leg 45 seconds. You're gonna step back into a lunge. Knee comes down just to kiss the floor. We don't wanna stop. Okay, we wanna keep all our weight and then drive up and through. Push that knee up nice and high to the ceiling. Step right back into a lunge. Lunge, come up and all the way through. Drive through that bottom foot, get nice and big across the hips. Back through and drive. That 45 second buzzer in our timer is gonna go off. You're gonna switch, no rest, straight into opposite side. Use your arms to drive that cross body pattern. Don't be all loosey goosey here. Get more out of the movement by driving those arms. And we're gonna finish off with that little heart rate spike. One minute rest, we're going four rounds for the workout today.